Welcome back, brothers and sisters. I am Braden. This is Langley Outdoors Academy, the place where we not only talk about what's going on in the gun world, but also how we're going to fix it together. And that last part is the key of what we focus on. I can tell you all day long what happens in the gun world, but if I don't partner that with what the trend is, what it's connected to, where we're going in the end from a macro trend perspective, it loses a lot of its context and its power because we are going to pass these blessings on. And that's an incredibly important piece to understand of why we're focusing on the things that we focus on on this channel. Now, everything I'm about to show you about the New Mexico governor coming out and unleashing a new legislation, a raft of laws against our gun rights, is linked right down there in the description box so you can check it out for yourself. And of course, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn the notification bell on. And while we're diving into New Mexico's governor, building off the momentum of her edict that basically said you can't have your Second Amendment rights that was smoked across the board, and somehow she still tried to claim credit for it, um, you know, that's where we got things like violence as a contagious disease, all those little gems. I want to highlight something that we've said, particularly the end of last year, into this year, Restraining the rights of the legal enhances the power of the criminal. We've seen it consistently across the board. It is an incredibly powerful statement, which is why I made a t-shirt about it, which is why I've got PDFs for you guys. This is, the entire point of this is we've got to take our theoretical approach. We've got to take our knowledge and real world and translate it into the culture. And that's what we're trying to do. That's why I've got it in a t-shirt right down there in the description box. Or you can freeze frame what I'm about to show you and take a picture of it. That's fine too. But the whole point here is We've got to dive into trans, translating this from our culture into the common culture, and that's what we're trying to accomplish. Now, I want to say one more thing about the Maryland uh, video that I did last night, just a little PSA. A lot of people were concerned that I was being too optimistic around the Fourth Circuit taking up the assault weapons ban. Um, and I want those comments. I welcome them. I'm not. This is not a critique of them at all. I just want to address something that I think is an important piece of that puzzle when you're talking about pro or con decisions. When you're looking at what we're dealing with, keep in mind, we can take a win, we can take a loss. I don't know what the outcome is going to be. I'm trying to bring it to you so I can show you the macro trends like I mentioned in the introduction. But keep in mind this important fact. The Heller decision came out of a negative 2A court. That's how it got to the SCOTUS. The Bruin decision came out of a negative 2A court. That's how it got to the SCOTUS. All of these tit for tats, wins, losses, the strategic approach of all of these things are going to weigh out in the end, not necessarily the short term, but the short term, whether they be losses or wins, play directly into where we're going. That's the important piece of why we cover it. That's the trend that I'm talking about. For example, Fifth Circuit, Sixth Circuit, they both had opposing views on bump stock bans. Guess what? It's at SCOTUS now. That's why this is so important. But anyway, I don't want to go down that tirade, but I just wanted to say that's why we cover things the way that we do, and I appreciate you guys' comments, but I just wanted to highlight that. But New Mexico governor unveils bills that ban assault weapons and raise the age to possess a gun. This is fantastic. So this woman has literally come out and just decided that she's a queen. So now she wants her queenly edicts codified in legislation in New Mexico. Now, here's the backstory here. Governor Michelle Luan Grisham announced support for several bills that she said were aimed at gun violence, banning assault weapons, raising the age to possess a gun, and extending the waiting period to take it home. These are kind of the farthest extremes of gun control that you're going to get, right? The waiting period, putting a waiting period um, in front of rights, yeah, that's not constitutional. It's quite obvious. You're not going to have a two-week waiting period to say your mind or free speech, nothing like that. No, no, it's just this one. Yeah, Second Amendment rights are not different than the First Amendment rights. Just saying. But anyway, let me show you what they're doing here. One bill would ban assault weapons statewide. Another would raise the minimum age to buy a gun from 18 to 21, something we've seen states in states uh, across the nation, and extend the waiting period to take one home from 3 to 14 days. So you're figuring out. They're trying to do the gun buyback loophole. They're trying to raise the age, and they're trying to ban assault weapons. Something they've said they've wanted forever. It's kind of the wet list or wet dream checklist of the left. And Juan Grisham clearly thinks that she has the momentum from her success in basically banning the Second Amendment in Bernalillo County, um, or Bernalillo County, which flat out failed miserably. No one enforces it. Everyone ignores her. Violence is now a contagious disease. You know, all the who's who of stupid. Anyway, here we go. 
At least three of the gun initiatives Lawan Grisham highlighted Friday reflected failed legislation from the legislators last session, and we covered it. That's important. It failed in the last session. They think they have the momentum now. House Bill 101, which would have prohibited people from possessing assault weapons. House Bill 100, which would have established a 14-day waiting period for guns. And Senate Bill 116, which would have made it illegal for anyone younger than 21 to purchase an automatic or semi-automatic firearm, all died in committee. So they didn't even get to the general broad legislature. Understand, that is key. They didn't even get out of Democratic-controlled legislatures. Understand what the gambit is they're playing here. The current iterations of those initiatives are set to be carried by almost all the same lawmakers who sponsored them last year. It's the same repeat, only they're expecting the momentum of Lawan Grisham's orders, which were extremely negative nationwide, to carry this over the finish line. In fact, they say that exact word here in a second. Check this out. Asked why the current versions of the measures would be successful this time around, Governor Spokeswoman Maddie Hayden said in a statement there, quote, more momentum around public safety than ever, and you can expect a full court press on every one of these bills to get them across the finish line. More momentum around public safety because crime is going up and you're not jailing criminals. You want to know why there's more momentum? Because you're failing your job. So you're going to therefore utilize the result of your actions to infringe upon the rights of other people. Yeah, you, you're kind of you kind of bottom level of the ecosystem here in my mind. Quote, this year is seeing a convergence of not only a public that continues to demand action from the legislature on public safety, but also a sense of energy felt at the meaningful results of the concerted efforts of the last few months in Albuquerque and Bernalillo County. The meaningful results? You are so full of it. No one enforced it. Everyone ignored it. You are a laughing stock. Even National Democrats were mocking you. Davy Hogg was mocking you. If you've lost Davy Hogg, the guy who can't rub three brain cells together, you've done it wrong. But don't worry, now there's momentum. Same bill sponsors, same bills, except the assault weapons ban this time is a little bit different because they stole it and plagiarized it from the Go Safe Act. Check it out. With respect to the legislation about regulating the possession and sale of assault weapons, Hayden said a language shift in the new proposals to define such firearms in terms of how they deliver bullets made this year's version stronger than previous versions. Now, she said that, Lawan Grisham said this in her press conference two months ago, a month ago. She said, oh, I like that. That thing from uh, Senator Heinrich where they're talking about the Go Safe Act. There's got some real promise. We're going to see that here in New Mexico. Ah, we called it. We talked about it. They came through. There it is right there. You're seeing the federal legislation floated as a trial balloon on a state level versus a uh, federal. If you're in New Mexico, it's time to act to stop this where it's where right in its tracks because you could kick her right in the gonads, to be quite honest. Now, here's the Republicans, and they're quick to say something about it. Republicans were quick to respond to the bills announced Friday morning. Senator Greg Baca, the Senate Republican leader, said the governor, quote, took a hyper-partisan turn with the announcement of several anti-Second Amendment measures targeting New Mexico gun owners who only want to protect themselves and their families. Yes, she did. She is looking for notoriety to go to a higher office. This is now about her, not about anything else. You have to stop this, and you will basically stop her forever if you stop this. Quote, Let's be clear. If the governor and other Democrats were half as hard on criminals as they are on law-abiding citizens, our communities would already be much safer. Enough with the false solutions. Let's enforce the laws we have, keep dangerous criminals behind bars, and give law enforcement the tools they need to do their jobs. Fund the police, arrest the criminals, keep them behind jail. What's so hard about that? But no, 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 no. We've got to infringe upon the rights of all the Second Amendment uh, the Second Amendment for all New Mexicans because you just don't like guns. After all, violence is a contagious disease now, and everyone ignored her edicts, which is becoming quite in vogue to ignore tyrannical orders coming from governors these days. <laughs> hey, Pritzker. Um, just saying. Don't throw it out there. They're trying to codify everything that they want. They're using some plagiarism. They're using the same playbook as last year, and they're hoping that her failed momentum can carry it over. And New Mexico? Is it? Is it going to? Because if this goes through... You're going to see it on a national level quickly. I guarantee it. And that's what I've got for you guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and I will see you on the next one. I'm Braden. See you later.